I got an interesting video here. I actually got this from someone. Uh, yes. Okay, so this video deals with um, feminists and OnlyFans, and I figured, yo, this topic, we got a bunch of girls here at the table that do it, that are involved. So uh, let's watch this video, and I want to get your guys' thoughts on it. Give me your raw opinions. So let's run the clip. For feminists doing OnlyFans, that's empowering, yet you're relying on creepy, disgusting men who think you are disgusting and trash to ironically pay your bills, which is probably the most degrading thing in the entire world. Whereas actually, if you were in an office, it would be a lot less degrading. You could actually have respect in an office. And do not get offended when you come into the dating pool and dating world and you are seen as a low value woman. In my eyes, you are. In every man's eyes, you are. And uh, don't get offended when people don't want to marry you, don't want you to be their girlfriend. You're going to hit the real world eventually. Um, it's just a amount of time. And no one with any level of like a brain would ever respect someone who does that. There's a lot to unpack there. I don't go on the internet and expect people not to judge me. You cannot be a sex worker and expect people not to judge you. I agree with that. Okay. Just don't complain okay. about the outcome. Well, I'm going to go bag. ahead. Yes. Uh, pause it real quick. I'm going to go ahead and turn it to the ladies first that are involved in the industry. What are your thoughts on that? Agree, disagree. Fuck this bitch. She's right. Uh, who wants to go first? Agree. I well, will say my fans actually well, hold on, hold on. I said the sex worker, the girls that are actually involved, go first. So, agree. Like but my, my fans do worship me. They're not like, they don't like to grade me and shit like that. <laughs> Uh, they're actually nice. People are like, oh, so okay in general, but your fans don't degrade you. Yeah. So you agree? With, you agree with her in general that the general public is not gonna. Okay. No, no. Yeah, I agree that I agree that we're low value women or whatever. But okay, my fans are really nice to me, and yeah, they're not All mean. Right. They don't degrade you to your face, but I'm sure they're jerking off. <laughs> they worship me. Okay. Uh, anyone else want to take a step at it? Um, uh, well, hold on. Oh, yeah. First, I'm giving a pre first preference to them. Yeah, go ahead. Do you have something? Do you want to agree, disagree? I, I agree that you can't control what other people think about you. You know, you can put your best foot forward. You can have a publicist who, you know, you can do all sorts of things to try to change perception. But ultimately, what people think of you is on them. Okay. And yeah. But so I, I guess I agree with her. But also my fans worship me too. So at least to my face. <laughs> or my screen that I'm reading. And to my knickers. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you? Um, <clears throat> I do agree with her. Um, like as if to say, like she said, um, certain facts I agree with. Um, but she must be really like salty, and she must be really unhappy to like be saying stuff like that. Um, because why does she care? Like, why is her opinion so strong? I don't understand. Um, also, um. Yeah, our fans don't degrade us. They actually like, obviously, they like what we do and they're happy and it makes them happy. So that's wrong, definitely. <laughs> I mean, do you think it actually, yeah. Do you think um, she's mad if she's just stating a fact, though? I think she's real mad, yeah, because she probably doesn't earn as much as me and she probably just looks at me and thinks, jealous. oh, <laughs> jealous. <laughs> jealous. Hypothetically speaking, let's say she earned as much as you did, then what would be the argument, I guess? Um, the argument, maybe she just doesn't get, maybe the dick that she gets just isn't good enough and she's jealous. Okay, so you think it's jealousy from options with men and or financial status yeah it's crazy how simple-minded you are i know it's just absolutely outrageous i think it's the hair color <laughs> she used to be blonde yeah because i've noticed that's like the second or third time now that you've like if um that if anyone criticizes like your lifestyle choices you just say well i have more money than you or yeah, I know. Like, honestly, that's just, that's my only comeback, to be fair. I mean, no, th you know, the thing is, yeah, like, for someone to judge someone else's life choices and, and like, work, they must have something wrong with their own life. Like, okay. you, if you want to, like, get on with your own life, earn your own money, be happy, like, like you said, you don't care as long as it's not surrounding you and as, as long as it's not bothering you. So why is what someone else doing bothering her so much? Like, it shouldn't be relevant. If As long as someone in her family doesn't do it, and as long as she's not surrounded by people who do it, then why the fuck does she care? I think she's commenting on it because we tell young women that they need, you know, to get into this industry, make a lot of money, travel the world. We sell kind of a dream to girls, especially like on Instagram and social media. And what ends up happening a lot of the times is girls get into this profession, they get into this world, and then they realize, oh, damn, it's not all it's cracked up to be. But by then, it's too late. They've fucked 50 guys, 100 guys. They've experienced some trauma. They've been through some shit. And it's hurt their ability now. They forever 
hurt, scarred themselves and hurt their ability to find a guy that they actually want. So I think if anything, a lot of this is like from pre uh, preventative measures. I mean, we brought girls on the show before that were former sex workers or whatever, and they cry and they literally regret it and say, damn, like t I'll tell your every girl, you know, don't do this. You know, you might not have that same sentiment now, but. No, I mean, <clears throat> obviously it's not like, like certain things like transformers and stuff like being taught in school. It shouldn't be taught in school. That's the same as like sex working. That shouldn't be like, it shouldn't be like promoted as like a good thing because obviously there's, there is negatives to it. And people like when they get older, they do like suffer with problems and like backlash from it. Stop glorifying it. Um, yeah. But like, the thing is like, it obviously if you do it then you do it like someone can't judge you just because you do it and but but it is glorified yeah it is glorified and it think, shouldn't think about be. this for a like, second you're 20 years old you said a second ago you were a kid didn't you so i mean only what three years ago you were technically a child in the united states but you got into this industry had you would have you been gotten into this industry had it not been for social media had it not been for peer pressure had it not been for the image or the dream that you were sold that you can make a lot of money while you're young um I got into the industry like last year, yeah. So I've been doing it for like a year. Mm -hmm. Um I wouldn't I wouldn't have I was a dental nurse before this, so I had a normal job. Um, literally so stressful. Every day I had to go to work, work my arse off for like seven pounds something an hour. Um I was literally getting like fifteen hundred pounds a month. I didn't have any freedom. I was literally No, I understand why you did it, but do you not see what I'm trying to argue here is that we sell the dreams to the girls, they get enticed by it, they take that option not knowing that it's going to have consequences down the road. Yeah, and that's why they should do the research into it. And that's why they should, before they make their choice quickly, they should really, really like rethink it and think, yeah, am I making the right choice? What's going to affect my future? Blah, blah. Like you, if you're going to make a choice like that, you should know the repercussions. And if you don't, then it's your own fault. That's well, this, it. This goes back to, you laughed at this earlier, but this is why I really do think that women need to listen to men because what I've noticed with a lot of women, and you guys kind of proved this earlier, is that women take the easy way out a lot of the times. Human beings in general take the easy way out, but women are way more prone to take the easy way out um, because women are inherently lazy. No offense, ladies. But they just don't have the same – how do I say this? They don't have the same drive to go out and work and earn their money that men do, right? Because there's always an easy way out, whether it's sex work, finding a rich man or whatever. Women aren't built to work long hours, long, you know, manual labor jobs, etc. Hell, when I gave you all the option, be an electrician. All you guys looked at me like I was crazy. Like, what the hell? No, uh, no, nah, fuck that shit. So women typically go the path of least resistance. But I don't think what women don't know is that there's serious consequences down the road if you get into this field. And another girl isn't going to tell you this. A man will tell you. That's why fathers are so important. But uh, your girlfriends are just going to encourage you. I've noticed women give each other really bad advice. No, you go, girl. You're empowered. Make that money. Fuck these the guys. Go, queen. Like, that's, probably queen. Why, uh, that's probably why. That's probably why. I mean... Growing up, I never really had my dad in my life, so maybe that's why I'm so like uh, such a. <laughs> um, and my dad actually has thirteen kids, so he's a slut as well. But um, like the thing is with this, like like you said, um, women do need to listen to men. Like men give good advice, um, and like the thing is, like I have men telling me like, oh, I would do it if I was a girl, blah blah blah. And the thing is, like, you know what I mean? I made my choice you made your bed lying it like i i will suffer my repercussions if i suffer any but to be honest like you know what i mean it is what it care. is i don't care yeah can i say something and i think the reason why you have the privilege of not caring is because you're still young mm -hmm. you still have a multitude of men that are hitting you mm -hmm. up but as you age right i hate to say it but you lose value as a woman <laughs> Um, I don't think I'll, you, I'll lose any value. Someone will love me for who I am, no matter what my past is, no matter what my present is. They'll love me no matter what I've done for work, etc. I make my bread, you make your bread. Like That like sounds fantastic on paper, but the reality is you're only loved under the condition that you provide some type of value. And the thing is... Okay, is that and every woman provides the same value. Like, I'm going to provide the same value as a woman who's not doing OnlyFans because I can cook, I can clean, I can wash, I can do this, I can do that. Okay. That's that's what men want women to do. Men want women to get in the kitchen. They want them to do this, they want them to do that. You just shot yourself in the foot. How did I? You just described a bunch of things that other women can do, correct? No, I said me, I said OnlyFans women can do that, and so can yeah, normal women. Yeah, you can, you you can, triggered my trap card. You can do these things that other women do, correct? Yeah. Okay, so if a man is given the option of getting you that have the past versus but a girl I, that can also the, do it without the a The man pass. that I'm going to be with is going to be with me regardless. Like, it's not, a, it's not a choice of a man choosing between me and someone else. That's not the situation. Okay, you so, know what? How about this? Let's say I say fuck this shit. 
I go ahead, I buy a tent, I move out to Los Angeles, I live on Skid Row. All right? I don't shower. What's Skid Row? I, Skid Row is a part of the United States. It's a it's like the it's an area in Los Angeles where all the homeless people are. Yeah. Okay. okay. I decided to go over there. I just shack up with a bunch of homeless guys and I say, fuck it. I'm a good person. I know I am. Someone's out there gonna love me. I know they will. Would that be a good idea to find the woman of my dreams? Why do you need to like Please answer go the question. Go and find the I'm woman of your dreams. Like, no, but it'll I'm... come to you. You don't have to go out searching for oh, it. Oh, she's going to come and oh. hand me a dollar and let me move in. Why Why <laughs> would the fuck would any woman go to a man that's in a shack with no house? Thank you so much. Why the but fuck would I have a house wipe up and I have money? So star? why does that matter? No, no, no. See, you're missing the point. Just like you said, why the fuck would a woman go to Skid Row <laughs> and save your dumb ass? You're right. You're absolutely right. Why the fuck would a guy that has options that's attractive save a girl that's a hoe? Well, maybe he likes that. Maybe that turns him on. Maybe no. he likes hoes. For no, no, sex. No. He'll smash sex. Incredible. He'll never take you seriously. Okay, but... Yeah. Well, I know a lot of OnlyFans girls that, that are even married and that have boyfriends. So I think you guys are wrong and I think you're just getting sour about it. Like, if you don't want your girl to do OnlyFans, don't date an OnlyFans girl. That's, that's you're how You're missing it is. the logic here. The logic There's I'm no saying logic. Is like, that... it's not a fact. Like, it's not a proven fact. It's not in the dictionary. It's not on the internet that a man's going to want an OnlyFans, a, a normal girl <laughs> over an OnlyFans girl. Like, yes, it is. no, okay. it is a fact that men care a lot about a woman's uh, uh, background when it comes to her sexuality. If you don't believe me, then why did we talk about traditions and religion? Why is that every single religion wants a woman? That's a virgin. Okay, but not not a lot of Since men are going to get women that are virgins. So that's it's true. Boo -hoo, it's sad for them. And not every single woman is going to get a tall, attractive, you know, charming, handsome man. But that's what women want. What we want versus what we deserve are two different things. What I'm telling you is that if I go out to Skid Row and I'm a homeless man and I'm a bum and I don't work on myself, no woman's going to accept me. Okay. So what I'm saying for you, if you're a woman and you're involved in certain types of activities. Certain men aren't going to accept you. And now you're saying, well, there's going to be a okay, out there. Okay, and then, on, then stop, certain stop, men I don't stop, care about. Stop. You're saying there's going to be a man out there that's going to care about you, that's going to love you. You're right. Absolutely. What I'm arguing is that man, you're not going to care about him back. Those are going to be the simps, the suckers, the guys that don't have the options. The attractive men that have options that you actually want, that can get a bunch of other girls, they're not going to pick you. And this is a cold, hard reality women don't want to accept. Just like you're not going to accept me for being a bum, a lot of guys that have options are not going to accept you for being involved in a certain industry. Well, whatever. You you think how you want to think. I mean, you even said your girlfriend's not a virgin, but yet again, you want a virgin. Like, makes no sense. You're being delusional. <laughs> you want me to be honest? You really are being delusional. How? How? <clears throat> Everything he's saying is correct. Yeah, yeah, maybe it is correct. But what I'm saying yeah, is that maybe. I don't care. I'll find someone in the future. Like, it's not going to stop me from finding a husband. And they probably going to cheat on you and yeah, find the next Yeah, they can cheat on me. You. They can cheat on me. I've said that. If I get they're a money, they can cheat on me. They just going to watch you to fuck you, period. Let's really be honest. They're just going to watch you to fuck you and be out. Well, not really, but whatever. You're being so, so are you ever going to get a boyfriend then or a husband? No, I'm good. All right, fair enough then, whatever. And th that's coming that's from someone you in your industry. I think she's accepted the fact that, like, if she's involved in certain things, mm -hmm. it's going to hurt her ability to lock down a guy. My reputation's certain... killed. Okay, well, I just don't want to be single and miserable no, for the rest of my life. So when I but... do want to settle down and move on, and, like, I don't want to die alone and be, like, oh, an old widow on my own. So like... if you don't, hold on. So if you don't want to <laughs> die alone and you want to find a guy, wouldn't it make sense to do activities that make you more attractive to that guy? No, because I am attractive anyway, like... <laughs> Do you Let's know how many night. bitches it is you... in this world that is I don't care how many bitches there are. There's not a bitch like me. Like okay, whatever. Looks just are not be... all that a man it's not about wants. looks. I've got a good personality. I can do a lot of things. Um, you can do a lot of things. Especially in my mouth. <laughs> Wouldn't you just but there's be... other women out there that can do the same things that don't no, no, no. come with oh, the I don't give a fuck about any other woman, to well, be honest. But wouldn't but you you're just delusional. I, I hear, yeah. like, you're just delusional. I know. Honestly, I am delusional. I think this is in my head. She's definitely missing the point, but I do... I will say the one thing that I do like about what she's saying is the idea that you can be yourself and in being yourself, find someone. So I know that you said, if you go to Skid Row, there are plenty of women on Skid right, Row. Look, 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 look. <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies this whole concept of be yourself is one of the biggest <laughs> fucking lies yeah. we tell people. Because if I really wanted to be myself, I would not go to the gym. Yeah. I'd be playing fucking Overwatch. I'd be gaming all day, drinking Mountain Dew, chilling, living my life, find going it. to the gym maybe once every two weeks. Go but I don't do that you because would... I understand that excellence is not achieved through being comfortable. It's achieved by doing things that I don't want to do sometimes, Discipline. regardless of how I feel. 
So this whole be yourself mantra is a fucking lie. We tell women it's bullshit because men will go ahead and accept a woman that's mediocre for her being herself. But the reality is, are you going to get a guy who has a last name to give you his last name from marriage by you being yourself? No, you're going to have to acclimate to that man and fucking change. The problem is that women think that they should be accepted no matter how they behave. They don't have to change. They don't have to perform. Love me for me. Fuck that shit. That's a lie. It's a fairy tale that's never going to actually happen. At least men, we understand, we have to become a somebody to get a somebody by our side. Y'all, for some crazy ass reason, think you can behave however, however you want, and a man's gonna accept you. It doesn't work that way. He's gonna behave that way <laughs> so he can fuck, then he's never gonna give you the last name. Do you think you're a high value I, man? Do you I, think you're a high value man? What do you think? Do you get bitches? What do you think? I don't think you do. Fantastic. Okay. So I, then, I just can I, may I just <laughs> chime in here just really quickly yeah, sure. about the <laughs> Yeah, sure. Um I just I just I mean you're on my podcast, right? Yeah, but I don't want to fuck you or whatever. That doesn't, that's not the definition of a high value man. Yeah, but like, <laughs> tell me, give me some reasons how you're high value. I don't Could, have to qualify. Exactly, because you have none. So you're, move on on. My, you're, you're on my show. Okay. That's proof in itself. Shut uh, up. All right. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Um, I just, I like, I hear, I hear what you're saying about being yourself. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I just do genuinely feel like if you do things that make you happy, like if you want to work hard and put down the controller and work out and all of those things, and you feel like that's benefiting your life, then that is something that you want to do. And you are doing things that make you happy. What and I'm saying is that that does include some not a sacrifice. Choice for us. Well, I hear, but like, I'm from like my I'm from an, like a family, like I, I'm from the South, you know, and there are a lot of obese people. There are a lot of people who aren't conventionally attractive, who are married, who have relationships, who, I mean, like I, I was very immersed, heavily immersed in like the nerd community, which, you know, a lot of people say like, oh, nerds aren't like conventionally attractive because what do they do in lieu of working Where's your out? Nerd? I'm, I'm a nerd. I, I have a dated nerd. many nerds, but. Where are they I know? Gone. Gone. Like, okay, like, but like girls on, but always rationalize. Even fit, even fit, even people who are fit who I've dated, they're gone too. So, like, yeah, that's not even a point. Yeah, no. So up. it's it's not that I didn't like them because they didn't work out. That that's like that's not the issue. The issue was a more of a, like a Character. spiritual and emotional thing for Integrity. me. Exactly. They like, fucked you and left. Simple never, as that. No, and not know? all of them fucked me. That's the that's the thing that I'm saying. I don't think you understand that. As a man, right? As as a woman, you can be a loser and be okay. You can I, be yourself as a lady, right? I to a hear degree. what you're saying. But I men do. can't. Is what I'm but saying. I I hear what you're saying. I'm just saying that to be yourself is like, for me, is the ultimate goal is to like be loved, and and that doesn't mean not growing. That doesn't mean not being stagnant. That doesn't mean you you don't sit down and have conversations and give a little here and there because it'll make your partner happy. That's I'm not saying that you don't do those things. I'm just saying that that at the heart of it, you get to love somebody for who they are, and they get to love you for who you are, and you get to grow together. Only women get to think idealistically like that. <laughs> okay. Men, men can't think like, because, bro, like, that sounds great. Like, and this is what I'm trying to yeah. say when I say women romanticize things and they're emotional or whatever. But, like, men don't even get these things unless they meet certain prerequisites. Like, we're invisible to girls unless we meet certain requirements I... to even be loved in the first place. So, I get what you're saying. Just be yourself. Eh, it's not really real. Like, for guys, they have to improve. For girls, you can be yourself. But if you want to keep the guy, you're going to have to change yourself for that man. Do you not like believe in actually making a connection and then like them falling in love with you? That's not reality. Well, <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I've had like I've had like many guys. Well, you got to get Sorry. the girl infatuated with you. Yes, I agree with that. But yeah. but women can go ahead and be in that delusional lovey dovey fairy but, tale. But Men I've can't. had that before. Yeah, I've had that. I've literally had that before. That with... doesn't refute what I said. So you you know women like, need that. Men don't. If a girl's on OnlyFans then, and you're saying like they need to change. So, like, if they stopped doing OnlyFans, would you, like, then think it was, like, like, would you think it was all right then for a guy to date a girl that I mean, has done be, OnlyFans previously? It'd be a case-by-case -case basis. Every man is different. Every guy has different tolerances for what his girl could have done in the past. But, I mean, in general, it's going to be a, a negative for a lot of dudes. Your reputation. And, and, and you so might wrong. disqualify yourself from certain guys. But you yeah. say like marriage, like like if everybody wants like marriage, like not everybody wants to marry like in their life. Every girl yeah. wants to have a man that she loves, admires, and respects and, as and her like man. Like not everybody wants that. Like 
you know Bruh. yeah there's some people like they just want the money and they don't care about marriage like they don't want to you, do. you know you. in the moment but in a the majority long, of women I have a question for the majority you. of women overwhelmingly want a man at some point that's going to be a leader a provider and a protector that's Correct. what they want no i don't think so Can I have for you in particular or women in general all right so for me and a lot of girls that i know also well, what do you think the majority of women want money how does that come <laughs> any funds <laughs> there's different ways but if didn't you i say provider eat... protector etc mm, no you can be your own provider you can always be yourself your you can't protector? fake being someone you're not even if a woman is her own it's provider she still wants a man that's a provider so how does that change what i said Mm, you can provide for yourself. You but, can be independent. Yeah, but even if a woman's independent, she still wants a man that could can provide. Don't you feel good when you um, when the you're just picking least. for like the girls, but not me personally. So honestly. you don't feel good when your man like surprises you with little gifts. Of don't course, you feel... but it's not like I need it. You yeah, know, not every, it's not like not you need it. Means. It's the feeling. That's what he's talking about. It's the feeling. Yeah, of... but. You know, yeah, this, but... you can get the same thing. So sure that that sometimes that, right. that comes no with Fantastic. a lot of bad things. So, Bruh. you know, can I, I can't be stressing every night thinking, oh, Please. if it's cheating or not. You, you feel me?